What if a simple decision could prevent permanent vision loss? Glaucoma, one of the leading causes of blindness, can gradually steal your sight without warning if left untreated. But the good news is, there are three common surgeries that can help you manage this condition and protect your vision. In this video, we'll explore these options and explain when you should consider each one. Whether you're dealing with high eye pressure or just want to know your choices, we'll break down the pros and cons of each surgery. By the end, you'll have the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health. So what is glaucoma? Essentially, it refers to a group of eye diseases that damage the optic nerve. The primary cause is usually high intraocular pressure, where the pressure inside the eye builds up over time. Because this process happens so slowly, it often goes unnoticed until it's too late to reverse the damage. The most common type, open-angle glaucoma, develops without noticeable symptoms, often affecting peripheral vision first. If you've noticed difficulty seeing out of the corners of your eyes, it's a good idea to schedule an eye exam to rule out glaucoma. On the other hand, angle closure glaucoma can cause a sudden onset of sharp pain, nausea, and vomiting, which often prompts immediate medical attention. However, it doesn't always develop suddenly. Some individuals experience a gradual buildup, which can be harder to detect. Regardless of how it appears, if left untreated, both forms of glaucoma can result in irreversible vision loss. What makes glaucoma particularly challenging to manage is that it often progresses without noticeable symptoms until significant damage is done. This is why it's crucial to catch it early. If diagnosed early, medications like eye drops or oral medications can help control the intraocular pressure and slow the progression of the disease. But when these treatments aren't effective or lose their potency over time, surgery becomes a viable option. Now, let's take a look at when you should consider surgical treatment and the different procedures that can help manage the condition. Surgery option number one, trabeculectomy. Let's take a closer look at trabeculectomy, one of the most common surgeries used to manage glaucoma. This procedure is designed to lower intraocular pressure, which is crucial for preventing further damage to the optic nerve. During the surgery, a small flap is created in the cornea, the clear outer layer of the eye, allowing fluid to drain more effectively and reduce eye pressure. When is trabeculectomy the right choice? It's typically recommended for people with open-angle glaucoma who haven't had success with medications or other treatments. If eye drops or oral medications are no longer enough to control your glaucoma, this surgery might be the next step. It's also a good option for those with advanced glaucoma or those who haven't responded to treatments like laser surgery. One of the main benefits of trabeculectomy is its ability to provide long-term control over intraocular pressure. Many patients who can't rely solely on medications find that this surgery reduces or even eliminates the need for daily eye drops, offering greater peace of mind and more consistent eye pressure management. However, as with any surgery, there are risks involved, such as infection, scarring, or issues with fluid drainage. That said, the benefits of reducing intraocular pressure often outweigh these risks. This procedure has been a trusted solution for decades, especially for patients seeking a reliable long-term way to manage their glaucoma. As with all surgical options, it's essential to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor, but for many, trabeculectomy offers significant improvements in eye health and peace of mind. Surgery option number two, tube shunt surgery. Tube shunt surgery is another effective option for managing intraocular pressure in glaucoma. In this procedure, a small tube is inserted into the eye to help drain excess fluid. The tube connects to a small reservoir under the skin, providing an alternative drainage route to maintain safe pressure levels inside the eye. This surgery is typically recommended for those with advanced glaucoma or those who haven't had success with other treatments. It's particularly beneficial for angle closure glaucoma where the drainage angle is too narrow. Tube shunt surgery is also an option for patients who have had a failed trabeculectomy, offering a second chance to control eye pressure. The main benefit of tube shunt surgery is its ability to provide long-term pressure control. Research shows it can effectively manage eye pressure for years, making it a reliable solution for more severe cases of glaucoma. Like any surgery, risks include tube dislodgement, infection, or clogging, but these complications are rare and the procedure is generally safe when performed by experienced surgeons. If other treatments haven't worked, tube shunt surgery could offer a dependable option to manage eye pressure. 
Surgery option number three, laser surgery. Laser surgery offers a less invasive alternative to traditional surgeries, with two main types used for glaucoma, laser trabeculoplasty and laser iridotomy. Both are effective in lowering intraocular pressure, with key advantages over more invasive options. Laser trabeculoplasty is typically used for open-angle glaucoma. It works by improving fluid drainage from the eye, reducing pressure. This is often a great option for early to moderate stages of glaucoma, especially when medications aren't enough. Laser iridotomy, on the other hand, is used for angle closure glaucoma. It creates small holes in the iris to allow fluid to drain properly, reducing pressure. This procedure is the go-to choice when angle closure glaucoma is suspected. One of the biggest benefits of laser surgery is the short recovery time. Most patients can go home the same day and resume their normal activities quickly. Laser procedures also tend to have fewer risks compared to traditional surgery and are effective in managing early-stage glaucoma, reducing the need for medications. However, as with any surgery, there are risks, such as a temporary rise in eye pressure or, in rare cases, vision changes. But overall, laser surgery is a reliable and minimally invasive option for managing glaucoma. When should you consider surgery? Now that we've covered the main types of glaucoma surgeries, you might be wondering when it's time to consider surgery. It's a big decision, so it's important to carefully evaluate a few key factors. First, consider the stage of your glaucoma. If you're in the early stages and your eye pressure is being managed well with medications, surgery may not be necessary yet. For many people, especially those with open-angle glaucoma, medications can keep the pressure under control. However, if your glaucoma is advancing, surgery may be the best way to prevent further damage and protect your vision. Another important factor is how well your medications are working. If eye drops or oral medications aren't controlling your eye pressure anymore, it could be time to consider surgery. Many people struggle with the effectiveness of medications over time, and others have difficulty using them consistently. If treatment isn't enough, surgery might be necessary to manage the condition. Lastly, overall health plays a role. Your doctor will consider your medical history, other conditions, and any past surgeries. If your glaucoma is advanced and your health allows, surgery could be a good option. However, if there are other health concerns, your doctor will guide you toward the safest choice. These factors together will help determine if surgery is right for you. It's important to work with your doctor to find the best approach to preserve your eye health and vision. Let's now back up these treatment options with some solid research. You want to be sure that any decision you make is supported by studies showing the effectiveness of these surgeries. Trabeculectomy, one of the most common glaucoma surgeries, has been proven to lower intraocular pressure effectively. A study in the Journal of Glaucoma found that trabeculectomy has a success rate of over 80% in reducing eye pressure over the long term. This makes it a trusted solution for preventing optic nerve damage. Tube shunt surgery is another reliable option for advanced glaucoma. A study in the American Journal of Ophthalmology reported a success rate of 72% in controlling intraocular pressure for more than five years, making it a solid long-term solution for those who haven't responded to other treatments. Finally, laser surgery has also shown positive results. Research in the British Journal of Ophthalmology found that laser trabeculoplasty was highly effective for early-stage open-angle glaucoma, sometimes even reducing the need for medications. Similarly, laser iridotomy has proven beneficial for angle closure glaucoma, improving fluid drainage and reducing intraocular pressure. These studies demonstrate that glaucoma surgeries, whether it's trabeculectomy, tube shunt surgery, or laser surgery, are effective in managing eye pressure and preventing vision loss. Remember, every patient is unique, so it's essential to collaborate with your doctor to determine the best treatment plan for your individual needs. Now that we've covered the key glaucoma surgeries and when they might be the right option, it's time for you to take action. Do you feel more confident about the treatment options available to you? Whether it's trabeculectomy, tube shunt surgery, or laser procedures, it's clear that there's more than one way to manage glaucoma and protect your sight. But here's the thing, the decision to move forward with surgery should be made in collaboration with your eye doctor. Your specific needs, the severity of your glaucoma, and your overall health all play a role in determining the best approach. So, what's your next move? 
Have you already discussed surgery with your doctor, or is it time to have that conversation? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the latest in eye health. And make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any important updates about glaucoma or other health topics. Check out the next video on the screen to continue your journey toward better health. There's always more to learn, and the more you know, the better you'll be at making informed choices for your well-being.